What is going on YouTube? I hope you're doing well. If you are a returning viewer, I appreciate it. If you are a new viewer, um, uh, welcome to the channel. Hope you stick around. Um, uh, we are at the gym getting ready to go in. 191.0 this morning. Slightly disappointed. I wanted to be 190 today because we're not actually going to train today. We're going to just do some active recovery. We're gonna test our maxes out tomorrow. So I'm kind of doing this like a little bit of a mini meat prep type thing or whatever. So I wanted to do it at 190 today or make or hit 190 today so my weight would be the same as it has been. Um, uh, and then eat my uh, carbs today. We're gonna test those out to, uh, tomorrow morning to test the maxes, but that's all right. So um, I kind of learned my lessons from the last couple times we've done this so actually trying to do it a little bit smarter not training heavy the day before um, uh, just being rested and primed and ready to go so wanted to take it a little more serious this time and um, use the lessons that we've learned but uh, oh well um, uh, so yeah we're gonna go in the gym just do some active recovery stuff uh, eat some good quality meals today with carbs and uh, see what we've got tomorrow. So, gonna drink the pro workout, get warmed up, have a good session, get this day rolling. Let's go. Yeah, but I'm going back. All right, YouTube, let's get this not training day yeah. under so review. Like, so, this was uh, my attempt at a uh, like max a lift test, um, uh, peak, whatever you want to call it. This is kind of my first time doing it this way. If you see any glaring flaws, please let me know. Um, uh, so what I decided to do was kind of an active recovery uh, instead of trying to just take the full day off, mostly because I didn't feel super recovered. We had a very light workout yesterday and I didn't push too hard, but even at the end of the day, I still, I didn't feel recovered. I didn't feel strong. Um, so decided that uh, I would at least go to the gym, try and get uh, a little bit something in, try and get some blood flow going and just get prepped for tomorrow. So we took a big emphasis on warming up the knees and stuff. We did five minutes backwards walking on the treadmill, five minutes on the bike. We did four rounds on each type of step up. One's the Poliquin step up and the other's just a more glute focused step up. And then I did this 10 minute sled drag workout. I would uh, drag the sled backwards uh, one way and then turn around and pull it forwards the other way. And then about halfway through, I went ahead and threw another quarter uh, on the sled. That was actually uh, a really fun little workout. So I hope it wasn't too much. I don't think it was. I felt just enough strain that I felt like I got everything flowing in my body, oh, yeah. if that makes sense. Right and so there. from there, all we did was just hammer out a couple rounds on the back extensions okay. and called it a day. Uh, made sure to get our lunges in after this and then did some mobility work. I was kind of uh, unsure exactly what to do. So this was the best plan that I came up with at the time. Uh, and as of this recording, I feel okay. But the results tomorrow will tell me what I need to know and speak for themselves. But honestly, besides doing about uh, 75 meters of lunges and walking a mile, that was it for today. I mean, super short, super sweet. I kind of feel felt like a bum uh, going through this. But uh, I know that in the past I've made the mistakes of training hard and heavy all week. So we started a new book this week, How to Win Friends and Influence People. So looking forward to that too. After that, we got a little bit of range time in and just capped the physical activities there. I mean, just a smooth day. All right, YouTube, a little bit later in the day. Um, uh, it's about dinner time. thought I would show you guys uh, what I'm going to eat. So we're going to do a max lift test tomorrow. I'm a little worried because I don't feel as recovered as I thought I would by uh, today. So the last couple times I've done this, I've made the mistake of training throughout the week like normal, and I think it's really impacted my performance on those uh, max out tests. So I wanted to be a little smarter this time. So we didn't really train hard today, just did that kind of active recovery stuff. 
we didn't really push ourselves that hard Thursday. So it's been like a day and a half of, you know, recovery. And I thought I would feel a little bit better uh, at this point than I do now. I don't exactly feel primed and ready to lift. I'm still kind of sore, still kind of beat up. So we'll see how it goes. And then I'm adding in carbs to my meals today. So I normally eat a little bit lower carb uh, than, you know, standard that you would see. I should probably actually eat more carbs than I do. But today, all my meals have been much heavier in carbs so i wanted to show you what that was kind of uh, like so what we've got for dinner we've got five ounces of uh, boneless skinless chicken thighs uh, a little under a cup of rice and like a cup and a half of vegetables so i ate the exact same thing for lunch i had a mid-afternoon snack with a protein shake and i actually ate some uh, hawaiian rolls uh had three of them for uh, some more carbs so we tried to up the carbs today, so hopefully, you know, we're primed and ready to go in the morning. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm a little worried. I'm trying to not, like, freak myself out mentally or worry about it already. So, and uh, we'll go to bed a little early tonight and get a good night's sleep, hopefully, and uh, see what we've got in the morning. So I'm excited to see what we can do. Uh, but, yeah, so this is the process of the day before. So we're going to wrap it there. I'm going to eat this meal. Just go uh, kind of rest up best I can, get my mind ready to go for in the morning, and uh, get that. So, as usual, I hope you get 1% better, hope you get some small wins, hope you're doing well, and I will see you next time. Say hi, Rick. What's that?